Welcome to Math with Professor V. In my last video, I interviewed some of my students about how they study for their STEM classes and how they're using AI tools like ChatGPT to help them with math. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description below and in the top right corner here. There were some really great insights. But today, I wanted to share a special follow-up. One of the students that I interviewed actually started the AI club on our campus. And we ended up having a longer conversation about AI and its uses beyond just studying. We talked about its benefits, limitations, and where he thinks it's headed. So in this part two video, you'll get to hear his perspective in more depth. Let's get into it. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us your name, your major, and one fun fact about you. Hi, my name is Aditya and I'm a computer science major. And a fun fact about me is that I really like to cook and I think I can cook really well. I did not know that. Do you use AI tools like ChatGPT or Wolfram Alpha when you study? I do use ChatGPT, for example, to understand the concepts. Even if the calculations are wrong, it explains the concepts really well. Mm -hmm. So if I'm stuck on a concept I couldn't understand, I'll go, I'm like, oh, okay, explain me this. How do you get to this? Okay, how did you factor this? Or something like that. And then, yeah, it really helps me if I'm stuck and like, if there's no one, like I'm on a Sunday night, no office or what I'm gonna do. Yeah. 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 But you did notice that it makes just simple computational errors mathematically. ChatGPT does at least. It does, it does. There are still progressing, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a machine, it can do mistakes. How do you personally use AI tools in a way that helps you actually learn rather than just copying answers? So in my day-to-day -day life, I use a lot of AI tools, but in specific to education, I think I, I don't like just like to copy it. I like to understand and then check with the AI if mm -hmm. I'm correct or not, but that's how I usually do it. And I think what you said too about how it explains the concepts really well, even if it's not computing everything correctly, that's what you use it for, which is Absolutely. then you're actually learning, right? You're not just relying on it. And then I'm going to ask you a few different questions because okay. you have a unique perspective compared to the other students that I interviewed. You are the founder and president of the AI club here on campus. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? So yeah, actually it was last summer when I got this idea. I was with a friend and I was like, okay, we should do something. And we saw the lack of exposure of like artificial intelligence on campus. There were no classes and we thought of like, why not just make a club mm -hmm. why not teach people ourselves mm -hmm. so i spent half of my summer doing that and once i established the club i got a really good uh, response from the community and i had to make sure that my board members are happy yeah. uh, they are motivated like they trust me they, they think that i can do it and i just used it as a fuel to make sure the club is established make sure all the workshops, the guest speaker events, everything was planned out before the semester started. Mm -hmm. People started coming in. We had we had a hundred students enrolled in the club in the first semester. Wow. Currently we stand at 150 members with an average of 15 to 20 members per meeting. And we teach workshops related to natural language processing, different domains of AI, AI ethics, uh, machine learning and computer vision. That's just the technical side. We also uh, lay a foundation for people who want to do a career in artificial intelligence, like what classes to take, how should you prepare if you're trying to get into artificial intelligence, or how to be up to date with the current industry news and all of that. Uh, we have research papers in our Discord. We, we have all the resources that we can provide to the students so that they can find out by themselves. And that's pretty much what we do at the club. Yeah. 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 You must be so busy because I know you take many difficult classes. Know, you yeah. do well in all of them and you run this club, which yeah. sounds like it's very successful. Do you know if someone's going to take it over when you transfer? So currently I am looking into prospective students who I think uh, will have the drive or will be willing to take over after I'm uh, after I've transferred. Yeah. Mm, it's still a work in progress. It's very hard. It's like my it's, it's so precious to me, like right. it's very valuable and it's like when I'm going and I'm leaving and it's, yeah, it's, t it's a tough choice, but I'll, I think I'll, I'll make the correct one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's hard because you brought it up from yeah. the, you know, from the ground up. It's your special project and I'm sure you're very proud of it. And Because during like the clubs, a lot of, a lot of clubs are established like over decades before mm -hmm. I was established. Yeah. 
So my challenge is to keep the club intact, keep it alive, even after I'm gone. Right. So I think that's pretty much my goal right now. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to add about your thoughts on AI, the future, education? I know that's a lot, but. <laughs> but yeah. So if we're talking about artificial intelligence in the real world right now, it is growing exponentially. And the growth is like people can't comprehend the growth. People are still adapting to the AI tools, mm -hmm. to the AI concepts. And we're still in that adapting phase right now. Even if it's like five years since ChatGPT was released, people are trying to get to know more about how things work. And I think the young generation will grow into AI and some people will might have to adapt AI. Right. Yeah. And I think in the industry right now, like there's a big question, will AI take your jobs? I think the jobs that you talk about that AI is gonna take I don't think that's possible because according to industry specialists that have said that AI will help you do your job better, but you have to co like coexist with it. Mm -hmm. So people who don't coexist, companies who don't implement AI tools or AI systems are likely the jobs that are going to go. Yeah. That's that's like what's AI going to take. It's, it's here to stay. So we have yes. to learn yes. how to improve our efficiency and work better with it helping us. And I think it was important you talked about earlier that it's not just for spitting out answers, that exactly. there's so many uses. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? So except chat GPT, there are a lot of, there is a horizon of AI tools out there right now that, are, that not a lot of people know about. For me personally, I use for example, to schedule my tasks, mm -hmm. to keep me on top of everything on my work. I use Notion AI, which is a very good uh, AI tool that lets you uh, lets you manage your schedule okay. and put like new tasks and make sure that you do it, your to-do list and all of that. It's also a very good note-taking app. Um, and let's say I'm trying to research something or I want like accurate uh, research papers and not like some websites that ChatGPT gave me that don't exist, mm -hmm. because there are some instances that it has happened. I would use Google's Notebook LM, which mm -hmm. is a very good research tool where you can put in PDFs, copy texts, and you can learn, you can make sure whatever you're citing, let's say for an English paper, let's say you're putting a research paper out there, you want to make sure your sources are correct. Mm -hmm. You can put it in there and check if they're correct. If not, you can ask it to help you. Um, and there are many, many more, and I can go on about like the whole. Uh, I can go and talk about it, but we don't have like much time. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to come do this interview Absolutely. with me. Mm -hmm. Just finished a differential equations exam, and look how composed, ready for this interview. I thought that was such an insightful perspective, and I really appreciated how he was able to speak to both the power and limitations of AI, especially coming from someone who's actively leading conversations about it on campus. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with his take? Are there ways that you've used AI in your own learning that have surprised you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to check out my full length video lectures organized into playlists by course. I have everything from intermediate algebra, trig, pre-calc, calc one, two, three, differential equations, statistics, and so much more. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll be back sooner than later.